let's integrate 1 over 1 minus x squared dx. Now, we don't have a formula for integrating this function. We have to use partial fraction method to integrate this. So this is integration of 1 over, factorizing the denominator, it is 1 minus x times 1 plus x dx. Okay, so let me first, we'll have to simplify this first. So we can say let 1 over 1 minus x times 1 plus x is equal to a over 1 minus x plus b over 1 plus x. So what I'm doing is I'm splitting them into uh, into fractions. So a over x, so 1 over 1 minus x times 1 plus x is same as writing a over 1 minus x plus b over 1 plus x. And now we need to find the value of a and b. So this implies we can say 1, which is a numerator, is equal to cross multiplying here. Can I say this is a times 1 plus x plus b times 1 minus x. Okay, so now we want to find the values of a and b. So we can say, we can let, to cancel a, we're going to let, you can also expand and do it. Okay, so let's expand now. Okay, so yeah, let's, so if you, can I say 1 is equal to a plus ax uh, plus b plus b minus bx. I'm just expanding the side, so I can say 1 is equal to a plus b plus if you factor x out from this ax and minus bx, I can write this as a minus b times x. So comparing the left hand side with the right hand side, I can say a plus b is 0, a plus b is equal to 1, sorry, a plus b is equal to 1, and on the left hand side there is no term of x, so you can say a minus x, a minus b is equal to 0. Okay, so now making this simultaneous equation, you can say 2a is equal to 1, which implies a is equal to half. Okay, now we already know that a plus b is equal to, a plus b is equal to 1, and we know is a is half, so b is also half. b is also half. So a is half and b is half. Okay, so we can use this fact uh, here. So this is same as, so this is equal to half over 1 minus x plus half over 1 plus x. Okay, so this, so... So let me do it here, I want to say space. So this is equal to, so from this step, okay, oh, let me start here. So we can say this is equal to integration. In, in, in We have found the value of a and b. So in place of 1 over 1 minus x times 1 plus x, I can write that as same as integrating half over 1 minus half over 1 minus x plus half over 1 plus x. So from this step, I can say this is integration of half over, let me write a big bracket, uh, 1 minus x plus half over 1 plus x dx. So you can take the half out. If you take the half out, you can integrate uh, we can integrate 1 over 1 minus x plus 1 over 1 plus x. Okay, so dx. Okay, so let me do it here. Let me finish it off here. So this is equal to, so this is equal to half times you can integrate individually. So when you're integrating 1 over 1 minus x, that is 
minus natural log of 1 minus x. Okay, using the inverse chain rule. Uh, and for this, this will be plus natural log of 1 plus x. Plus c, the constant of integration. So this is same as half times natural log of natural log of 1 plus x using the log rule over 1 minus x plus c. Okay, so this is your final answer, integration of 1 over 1 minus x squared is half times natural log of 1 plus x over 1 minus x plus c. And you can check your answer by differentiating this. And if you get this back, your answer is 5. That's something which you can do on your own.